there this is erica from trinity oracles today i'm going to do a pick a card for the week of july 28th through august i think august the let me see let me look i can't remember it august the third so deck number one let's see if this is for you guys so i got financial and material what is it my financial and material changes and i got the wisdom card okay Okay. The first thing I get from those two cards, okay, this is interesting energy. I'm getting actually demonic energy. Okay, this represents that I see young people in your life that are playing with like Ouija boards, maybe doing, playing with tarot cards but not playing with the right way. I feel as though they may be like trying to channel a dark entity. I don't feel like they're doing what we do. Like we do like fun things. I feel like they're like, oh, let's see if we can um, tap into some dark energy and open up a portal. Whoever it is, they are going to be successful at opening that portal. So go check what your kids are doing, what your grandkids. Ask, what are you guys doing with that Ouija board? The book right here represents mastery. I feel like whoever that is, they're very obsessed with the occult. They're obsessed with mysticism, which is fine. But they're going to the dark side instead of the light side. Um, oh, that's not good. Okay. Personality changes. The lines right here represent personality changes. You will see that your kid actually starts changing. You'll notice they'll start having like mood swings. They might look different. Their skin might be like gaunt looking. They don't have the life in their eyes like they used to. I'll just tell you, if you're the parent of that child, please intervene quickly because they are going to get something attached to them and you're not going to know what's wrong with them this little dog right here represents ghosts i keep getting like it's like an entity a ghost a low vibration spirit is actually going to attach to that person i would say this they're determining on this table for a reason i usually don't have stones up here but if you tell them to wear a tourmaline if you put tourmaline in your house you can avoid those spirits coming towards them they can wear this tourmaline on like a necklace on a pendant even in their pocket and they can deflect that negative energy I keep getting also please intervene now because they are really close to 100% opening up the portal and allowing that dark energy to come in. It's going to mess up your household and you're going to start like hearing spirits, seeing spirits, seeing dark shadows at the corner of your eyes. You're going to sit there and be like, shit, did I just see that? Yes, you did just see that. And it's your kids playing around. Check your children. Leave that shit alone. That was deck number one. Deck number two, what do we have? Okay, material and spiritual prosperity. And then we have partnerships and alliances. The first time I actually saw this card, it was actually flipped over. I feel as though this pink right here and this guy's pants, I keep getting nothing but vaginal care. I know that's random, but that's what I got. Okay, what I'm getting is also that some of you guys have been having like symptoms in your vagina area and you've been ignoring them like you're like oh you know go away it'll go away if i do she'll go away if i take this cream it's gonna go away it's actually not gonna go away what i'm getting is actually going to skyrocket it's actually gonna get worse um the symptoms you're experiencing is like itching you're getting discharged you're actually getting i'm getting like pelvic um pain pelvic inflammation and you'll feel like you're bloated um in your base chakra sacral area like below i mean like below your belly button you're just gonna feel inflamed for some reason i'm getting it could be um fi fi what is it? fibromyalgia fibromyalgia and there's another one that's in your vaginal area whatever it is i'm getting that it's some kind of virus and if you do not go to the doctor go to a holistic doctor a shaman whoever you want to go to it's actually going to get worse and in the future, it's gonna actually going to affect your health for the worst. Like you're not going to be able to have kids. Or if you do get pregnant, you can like have like miscarriages. And um, that ain't good. No one wants that. Um, the number three represents communication. When you do go to the doctor, please be 100% honest. Don't sugarcoat anything. Be straight up honest with them. And if it's better for you, even write down all your symptoms you've been having because your future of you know wanting to have a family of just your vaginal health in general if you don't take care of it it's gonna get worse check your vaginas girls 
basically like pulling three cards. Okay, power. Memories of love. And I got sacrifice. Let's see what those cards mean. Okay. Okay, the power card. Okay. Older lover energy. I get that you're at work. There is an older man who always looks at you. He always compliments you. Tells you you're beautiful. You look nice. Like those pants. Blah, blah, blah. I get that he is genuinely interested in you. I don't feel any type of weird energy from him. I just feel like he really likes your energy. He likes your vibe. Sacrifice card. This basically means that you can actually have a really good relationship with this person if you do not listen to what other people say. Who cares what his age is? He is a genuinely nice human being. You actually have a very lovely relationship with him. All you have to do is take a chance. Memories of love. That's funny. Memories of love, funny. The reason why you're not going to get into a relationship with this older man. <clears throat> I keep feeling it's a man. I don't, I don't get the word love, right? So keep older man. It's because of your past relationships. I feel as though you are the type of person who just is attracted to older people in general. I feel as though you often feel as though in the relationship that you are the, you're the, like you're the older person, they're the younger person. Even though they are physiologic, physiologically older than you, mentally you're always the more the adult. Um, I feel as though you also have one more lover actually coming who is actually an older person also. Let go of the past. Get with this new guy and you actually could meet the love of your life and have a very lovely, stable relationship. All you have to do is take a chance. But anyways, that's it for the pick a card. Oh yeah, this was deck three. This was deck two and this is deck one. I forgot to say that at the beginning. But anyways, thanks for watching. This is Erica from Trinity Oracles. Have a lovely rest of your day. And if you want to get a reading by any of us, Check out the link below and book a reading. Bye.